Hello, hello, hello. Special day, special problem. Yes, it's a special day. September 21. That is the fall equinox on the northern hemisphere and the spring equinox on the southern hemisphere. Very special problem. Definitely not a high school problem. Definitely not a JEE main problem. And also not a JEE advanced problem. So I warn you. You can solve this problem in <laughs> less than 10 minutes if you're familiar with relativistic Doppler shift. I cover Doppler shift in lecture 35 of ADO 2. Yet that information alone will not allow you to solve this problem. So don't feel bad if you can't solve it. I repeat myself, if you have not been taught, exposed to relativistic Doppler shift, which includes time dilation, then you cannot solve this problem. Here is Earth, and here is a galaxy. This galaxy moves relative to this line at an angle alpha with a speed which is half the speed of light. We call beta v over c and this is one half. If alpha were zero, then we probably all know that the radiation that someone from this galaxy sends to Earth will be redshifted. Redshift means that it goes to a longer wavelength than it was emitted here. And most of us also know that if alpha were 180 degrees, then this galaxy would be moving towards us. And then there would be blue shift, the frequency that we receive would be higher than the frequency emitted. The wavelength that we receive would be shorter than the wavelength that is emitted, that blue shift. So you can do your homework on red shift and blue shift. That's not so difficult. That's part of my problem 35. Now comes the question, are there any angles alpha whereby there is no blue shift and there is no red shift? I repeat, are there any angles of alpha for which there is no red shift and no blue shift. In other words, we on Earth here receive exactly the same frequency that was emitted by, I called it, galaxy. All right. Good luck. Special problem. Special day. September 21.